everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Casey and I love all things plant related. So today's video is a tag video by my friend Julia, the plant goblin at Good Life Green Tropics. And so yeah, I guess we're just gonna jump right into it. I have my tea that I already spilled over myself about five times and I have my questions. And I wrote down the questions, but not my answers, so I'm just going to wing it. So let's get started. Like a hell cut. Number one is, what is your favorite genus? And I've honestly thought about this question for three days straight, because I love all of my plants, and I love them all for like their individual characteristics. So I guess it would have to be philodendron because there are so many different kinds that like, say I was only allowed to buy philodendron, I would still be okay with that because there are still so many philodendron that I want and they all just look so different and yeah, they're just so versatile. So philodendron is by far my favorite genus. Number two is what is your least favorite genus? And this one's hard because a lot of it had to do with uh, living conditions and now that I have the greenhouse it might be different but I don't know I just don't like Calathea. I have one Calathea and uh, if you've seen my grow with newt video then you have seen it. This is the only Calathea I own. It is a Calathea lancefolia single leaf because that other one I mean let's face it it shouldn't even be there and this one is also starting to go too but that was before I got the greenhouse so I'm hoping hoping newt We'll bring it back to life. I don't know. It, honestly, it might just be way too far beyond repair. And if that is the case, I will probably buy another one because I do love that Calathea. I like how it looks. That's the only Calathea that I like how it looks. So, but don't come at me. Don't send me any hate for not liking Calathea. They just, they don't tickle my fancy. Number three. You would think that I would remember these questions since I've been thinking about them so often, but I think it's just, I don't remember the order that they're in. So, number three is what is a genus that intimidates you? Uh, bromeliads. Now, I feel like they're really not even that talked about. Is, is it just me that hasn't really heard anything about them? All I know is that I bought one and once a flower dies, like, that that's it. A, another flower doesn't come back up. Um, and once that happened with mine, uh, the, the entire thing died. I tried propagating a pup, that died, that did not work. And just the mother plant itself, just it just got sad and dried out and eventually died. So, also probably my fault, but I don't, they intimidate me because I'm terrified I'm gonna kill the flower because once the flower is dead, like, that's it. <laughs> so, bromeliads. Number four is, if you were a house plant, what would you be? I would definitely be a nerve plant. Um, I'm perfectly fine. I'll be fine all day. And then all of a sudden, I'm dramatic. And I droop over and I slump around. And once somebody feeds me, well, I guess in their case, it'd be water. But with me, it'd be food. Once somebody feeds me, I'm happy again. <laughs> so I'm a nerve plant. Number five is, was there ever a house plant you ended up disliking after purchasing? <clears throat> this is probably also my fault, but um, any fern. I've had four ferns, and this is the only one that's left, and it is doing horrible. Once again, probably because of my house, my average humidity inside of my house is like 20-25%, so basically honestly my house is where house plants come to die which is why I built this greenhouse <laughs> because most plants need at least 40% humidity and my house does not offer that so yeah I don't and it sucks because I really like ferns like maidenhair ferns I want one in the worst way I think they are beautiful I think they're gorgeous but I know if I buy one, it's just gonna die. Same thing with fuzzy ferns. I love fuzzy ferns. I feel like they feel, 
hence the name, so fuzzy, but like I said, they'll die in my house. Number six, favorite way of propagating. Now, not necessarily my favorite way, well it is my favorite way, but also because it's the only way, I mean I've only ever tried water and soil, um, I've never tried moss, that stag moss. I've never even seen it or heard of it. I mean, obviously, I've, I've heard of it through, like, Instagram and YouTube. But, like, before that, I've never heard of it. I never knew it was a thing. Um, actually, the first time I found out about it was when I was in a Facebook group for carnivorous plants. People made bogs out of it. And that's what I thought it was for the entire time. I didn't know you could propagate with it up until, like, a few months ago. So I have never tried that. I want to, though. And I also want to try LECA. I really want to switch over, like, all, not going to lie, I want to switch all my plants over to LECA because, I don't know, I feel like I would like that better than soil. But, anyway, my favorite way of propagating is uh, water. I love watching the roots grow. That's mainly, like, the biggest thing is I just like watching the roots grow. I think it's awesome. I only have one propagation in my greenhouse. No, I don't. I have two. I have a snake plant one. All my propagations are in my bedroom, and I have one in my kitchen, but uh, I don't even think I have any roots on these. Oh, is that? Here I have my snake plant, and this one that if you follow me on Instagram and watch my stories, you saw yesterday. I uh, got a prayer plant for, my mom bought me a prayer plant as like, what I assume is the equivalent to a little kid getting a toy after they go to the dentist. My mom went out and bought me a plant because I hate the dentist. So it kind of turned into our like little ritual. I go to the store and buy a plant afterwards so I forget about going to the dentist. <laughs> but I took a cutting and I put rocks in there because I couldn't get them to stand up on their own. But, uh, and I also have Newt in here. And so I'm kind of testing Newt out uh, from like fresh cuttings because all the cuttings that I had for my newt video they all already had roots on them so I just added it to this guy and I will be adding him in my updates and this is a massive cutting I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet because um, I have a giveaway coming up once I reach 100 subscribers so I've been thinking of adding it to that I already have three things for that so I'm probably gonna end up putting it in that video but like also at the, in that video and that giveaway but at the same time like I kind of want to keep him but I have this big boy so I probably won't I don't know honestly I could mm, I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do but yeah I like water propagating I currently have like 20 plus things propagating in water right now so Seven, favorite plant things you like to do. <sighs> Anything that deals with shopping for plants and being with my mom, I'm 100% down. My, I mean, at this point, like my mom is literally my best friend. We do everything together. Um, even when like anywhere that I wanna go and anything that I wanna do, like it's usually with my mom because I love spending time with my mom. I see her about once a week, uh, usually on the weekends. She is the one, I mean, I don't have a license, I don't drive, so she's the one that'll take me to like my dentist appointments, doctor's appointments, things like that. But um, a majority of the time, like I only see her once a week and about, somebody just beeped outside my house. About 75% of the uh, time I go plant shopping or do anything plant related for that matter is with my mom. And I enjoy it. <laughs> so, yeah. Number eight, have you ever gone overboard with purchasing house plants? There's this one time that comes to mind specifically. Me and my mom and my soon to be sister-in-law, we all went to a house plant class together at a local uh, garden center and afterwards they like kept kept the garden center open afterwards for everybody like in the class and I ended up having four plants in my purse and one in both hands and I had to put put back 
two or three of them because I didn't have enough hands. And then the funniest thing was after we came home, I filmed a video for there. You guys can go watch it. I'll leave it down in the description if you want to, if you haven't yet. And uh, the first thing you see in that video are baskets right when you walk through the door. So, <laughs> but it's a good thing because I probably would have bought a lot more plants. So definitely, I've definitely gone overboard. And number nine is, have you ever been swayed by social media's popularity pressure? About 75% of my plants I got because I saw them on Instagram. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. And it's not so much that like I wanted it because it's popular and everybody else likes it. I wanted it because I like it. And I want to add it to my collection and I wanna see it every day. So yes, I'm, I'm definitely 100% swayed by social media without a doubt. But also at the same time like I like all my plants, so I feel like that's not a problem. And number 10 is, what is a plan you own that you feel should get more spotlight on social media? And this one's super easy because, and I do see it on social media, but it's not nearly as much as like Monstera or Hoya or any of those other ones, um, but it is my Peperomia, Parallel Peperomia. But like, look at those leaves. And I've never seen one in person before. I actually ordered this online. If you wanna see me unboxing it, it is a few videos back. It's my Hertz unboxing. But I just, I love the leaves. And whenever I first saw this online, I wouldn't have thought that they were like, they're not like necessarily succulent, but like they're also like they're stiff like if you can see like they're stiff you can't really like squeeze them like a taco but um I don't know I feel like I just don't see enough of this one on Instagram or Facebook or any of those places but I do definitely think that it deserves a lot more attention than what it is given so yeah I do definitely think it deserves a lot more attention. Even this plant specifically by me, I feel like it deserves more attention. It's just so pretty. And um, I used to have a watermelon peperomia. I loved that one, but for some reason I couldn't keep it alive. And that's kind of like what sort of these leaves remind me of. So I like it. And I like how they grow. They grow a little funky. They don't just like, I don't know. I've seen some trail down, but I also see most of them that just go like, I can't. <laughs> you know what I mean though? <laughs> like, uh, like they go like up and then like they bend a little bit and then like they go back up. Kind of like Hoyas do with like their little, I can't pronounce it, trend, trend a little, little, So I guess that was it for today's video. We are at the end, that was the last question. And I also needed to tag my friend Jacqueline over at Jacqueline's Jungle. So I haven't really talked to her a lot lately uh, between me getting sick and her taking like a little bit of a social media break. We haven't really been talking as much as we used to, but I still miss you girl and I still love you and I hope you were doing better. I hope you were doing well. I wish you nothing but the best. Hopefully soon it'll warm up so I have a few cuttings that I want to send you. But um, yeah, you can go ahead and do this video if you want to. I will, I'm trying to get his butt out of the camera. I will leave a uh, link in the description to Good Life Green Tropics and Jacqueline's Jungle. I'll t put both of those descriptions if you want to check out Julia's video. Obviously hers is already up and Jacqueline told me that hers will be up sometime next week. So yeah, my cat is knocking everything over, and then, which is why he's not allowed in the greenhouse. Get it. That was it for today's video. 
I hope you go ahead and check out Julia and also Jacqueline as well. And you can, if you liked this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, he's purring. He's purring, purring, huh? Oh, he's purring, purring. Bye guys. Hmm. <laughs>